How hard is it to kill a bat, bro? How are you this trash? If you don't bash his brains in. Yo, what's up guys, Prince Charming. We are doing a Trying to Left Challenge to the Family Guy episodes again today because you know, I love you guys so much. I have to give you some more Family Guy. We're gonna be rejoining Peter and his family, the Griffins, back in Quahog, Rhode Island. It took me a long time to realize Quahog was in Rhode Island. I'm pretty sure they said it many times. I just never knew that. And then where is Springfield in The Simpsons? I heard it was either Indiana or like M Missouri. Something like that. It's some place with a Springfield, but most likely I do think it was Indiana. But this is a try not to laugh challenge, guys. You know the rules. You do not want to be laughing. All you gotta do is watch the video, try not to grin, try not to chuckle. It's gonna be hard because you're watching with Prince Charming, but I promise you, you can take a dub if you really try. Don't forget to hit me on the like, subscribe, and go ahead and comment. What city would you like to live in that is fictional? I would not live in Quahog. I would not live in Springfield. I'll probably live in, I don't know, My Hero Academy. What's that? the world of my hero academy because apparently it's like normal for people to have superpowers and i would love to have superpowers bro like trust me if i could fly i will not need anything in this world i'll just fly around all the time but enough of me talking let's go and check out this try not to laugh family guy edition hope you guys enjoy the video what's up what's up we now return to rational geographic Rational? Realizing a trip to Africa would be smelly and gross, our crew decided to Oh, come on. Office. Africa's not that bad. That's my home continent. You thought I was going to say country? I'm not stupid. <laughs> How can you not tell that's Peter? <laughs> come on. I bought this remote control toy helicopter to which I have attached this handgun. This is definitely gonna work. It's not easy to fly. Peter, that doesn't seem very Here goes. Oh gosh. I don't have anything to control the Bro, this is not funny, Peter. What is wrong with you? Woo! And he took the gun anyway. He took the Glock. What? Why would you give him knives? I didn't think it would matter. I was counting on this helicopter thing working. Get back! Get how hard is it to kill a bat, bro? How are you this trash? If you don't bash his brains in? Oh, come on. He's just destroying everything now. Over a bat, bro? They flipped up my lunch tray. Oh, that sucks. I wonder if that's the worst thing that ever happened to a guy. Oh. Whoa. Oh, sarcasm. Um. Crazy. You guys are doing great. Hey, listen, my dog just had puppies, and I thought since you're I barely know you, I give you a delicate Snow White newborn. Look at the puppies. Just don't give me the dead eyes over there, because I've already been killed twice in the other two stories, and I don't want. Puppy. Oh gosh. Oh. This puppy doesn't work. That's the thing about Family Guy I never really understood is the fact how Brian is the only talking dog and people just treat him so much like he's human. To the point where there's actually girls who will date Brian, who will date an actual literal dog. You know how women call men dogs all the time? Or there's men, there's some women that's actually dating literal dogs. So Brian has to have the juice game on lockdown. He is pulling people that are even in his own species. How much sauce do you have to have to pull that off? I don't know because I can't do it, nor would I want to do it. Why would I try to hook up with a dog? <laughs> Got it? We're gonna be okay. <clears throat> oh! Ah, crap, this thing was a rental. Why you just throw up like that? That's nasty. We don't make a big mistake, like when I peed next to the chatty guy. Hey man, we should get out of here. The building's on fire. Hey pal, not now. I'm busy. Anyway, I'll tell you what's on fire. My urethra. That's the last time I go to a water park. I'll tell you that. Your urethra? No, that's not completely true. Because I yeah, have a roof on it. Men have those. Plus, the truth is, the kid. Oh my god. You're the talking. You are the chatty one. What a plot twist. It'll flatten any chew. Simply climb behind the wheel, drive it towards a chew, and flatten them. Could you also use it just to drive from place to place and stuff? 
It's a jewel flattening machine. It's not what it's used for, but you could use it that way. Yeah, yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah. You, you could also use the Mona Lisa as a placemat. God. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm making the world a better place. Like when I was the Instagram police. Sorry, lady. Got to crop the church. Oh, not the good part. This. Oh, you're gonna keep it. And cut away. You're gonna keep it. <laughs> Girls these days on Instagram, not just girls. I'm going to go ahead and include men in the mix just because this generation in general, they don't know the limitations on what you should put on the internet. I see people putting totally naked pictures on the internet. I will never approve of that. I don't care how much body positivity you want. I just, I just think that there's some things that you can keep a secret. The whole world doesn't have to see you naked. All for a couple of likes or retweets. It's just the world we live in. People care about gratification from people they've never met before more than respecting themselves. But hey, I guess I'm the old head and if I were to say this to somebody that was my age, I'll just get a lot of hate for it. Oh, I'm just doing me. I have the right to do whatever I want. Okay, you do it. Oh, say goodbye, Stewie. An upside down train. How how does that work? First laid eyes on him, Jane Gatsby. He was clearly playing with himself through his pocket, but I pretended not to see. Hello, welcome to my party. Name's Gatsby. Good to meet you, old sport. Yeah. Don't shake his hand. That's nasty. Okay. Okay, that's better than sleeping with your sister. You know this is a pilot's uniform. Represents years of specialized training. Yeah. Well, you know what else? <gasps> oh, that's so creepy. Okay, the animators fixed him up. Okay, bet. Hey, look, that bee is trying to get our honey. Okay, Mr. B, we'll give you the employee discount. After all, you Oh, wow. Crap, that thing just lifted a whole jar of honey. Oh, God. <gasps> Y'all made steroid bees. Oh my gosh. I hate bees so much. I know we need to save them, but I don't like flying insects. Oh no, I would have been running. I would have been running. Look how swole they are. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know we need to save the bees. I know we need to do it because we really need them to pollinate our flowers or to make us honey, but really more to pollinate our crops and flowers. It's just, I hate flying things that can sting me. I live right outside a damn hornet nest on the second floor and it is always buzzing around my apartment. It is just driving me insane. I won't swat a bee unless it attacks me. You know, if it attacks me, it's as good as dead, bro. You don't pull up to me and you're not ready for the clap back. That's something you don't do. <laughs> no, but seriously, we do need to save the bees. Just don't have any flying insects around me because they will literally get this clap. <laughs> Did they get in through the window? Damn! All right, I'll go tell the guys I'm not going. Don't give B steroids. This man treats Lois so bad. How is that romantic to you? <laughs> You can't open a window on a plane. Come on. <laughs> <gasps> Last time I'm gonna pause, but one of my biggest fears before I, you know, regularly regularly went on a plane was it either getting crashed or hijacking. More likely crash. Because I watched a lot of Lost, the TV series. I know, I shouldn't have. It was very good the first two seasons, debatably third season. After that, it was just trash. But I watched a lot of Lost, and it just made me afraid of planes. Like, I just always thought it was gonna crash, and I was gonna end up on some spooky mystery island fighting polar bears and going back in time. I don't need any of that. I just want a normal life. I wish I just stayed home and finished my remake of Inside Out. I'm joy. I'm sadness. I'm anger. I'm disgust. <laughs> I'm poo. <laughs> Why you're poo? Oh, I need to use the bathroom. Yay, I win. 
you do that to him? He was just trying to sleep. It's a great morning, no matter how you slice it. I don't know what this is, Peter, but we're four months behind on our mortgage. That's not How does he fund all this stupid nonsense? That's the yeast of my concerns. She's gonna leave you, Peter. It's just a matter of time. Oh, is it teabagging you? <laughs> oh. You're gonna have you're gonna have burgess all over your drone. Do you even still want it? Ah, crap, it's busted. I bet it's completely traumatized. I wasn't traumatized actually. It was planned. Part of the game's Oh wow. Family guy with the twist endings. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So that was it for that video guys and I hope you enjoyed it. That drone scene at the very end is just it just completely threw me off. Like I was not expecting that at all. But I guess what a family got trying not to laugh, you have to expect the unexpected. Expect the unexpectable to be able to happen. I don't know what I was just saying right there. I'm just trying to sound smart. But I hope you guys took a dub. Like, let me know down in the comment section if you took a dub, if you found this video funny, you know, if you liked watching it with me, because I love watching this video with y'all. Y'all are the reason why I get up in the morning. Shout out to the Charming Gang. Don't forget to name it, like, subscribe, and comment on this video. Fun to play from your truly Prince Charming. My name is Prince of Hawk. Stay charm, my friends.